Hello, I'm Dr. Eric Mazur. Today's Ask the Expert question is, what are some examples of population health management? On the set today, we have Dr. Tate Michael. She's a psychiatrist, but you're also in charge of community health for the Western Connecticut Health Network. Uh, Tate, uh, we talk population health. Just briefly, what is it, and give us some examples. So population health is really the effort to take care of the whole population, not just the individuals who come to your office as a doctor. So what we, a couple of programs we have, one is embedding psychiatric social workers into primary care practices so that they can deal with the problems right there in the office. They don't have to go make an appointment and wait three weeks. They can get it done right then. And that must be much more comfortable for the patient, too, because uh, it's part of their regular doctor's office. It doesn't require a special visit. I think you've mentioned not everybody referred to a psychiatrist actually follows up, do they? No, they only go about half the time. So this assures that psychiatric patients with psychiatric problems, and it doesn't mean that they're raving mad. I mean, depression is a very, very, very common, isn't it, in the primary depression care? Depression is very common. It happens in that up to a quarter of, of all women and, and many men as well. It's very yeah, common. Men must hide it better, but, right, it's, right. but and also, uh, it also drives a lot of health care costs, too. Doesn't people with depression, don't they? often end up with drug and alcohol problems and then complications of they, those addictions? They do often coexist. And if we think about, if we think about the things that drive the cost of health care, and, and what that means is they, they drive people to be less healthy, their health behaviors. So their addictions and um, smoking and exercise and, and diet and that sort of thing. So we have about 30 seconds left. How about community care teams? I know that's another initiative that you're involved in. So our community care teams are um, really a group of dedicated agencies in Norwalk that come together and they take care of the people who are really the most vulnerable in our, in our community. And you actually identify those people by name and set up plans for the, these agencies working together? Exactly, we do. We identify them by how often they come to the emergency room because it's an excellent marker for unstable health care and social needs. So this is, again, an example of providers, the health care, reaching out to care for people rather than sitting back and waiting them to come to us. That's exactly right, being and much more proactive. And it turns out it's, it's better care and it saves money, which is really amazing. That's right. Thank you, Tate. That's so, so useful. And uh, if you have questions at home, please send the questions and comments to me at healthtalk.wchn.org. I'd love to hear from you. Bye-bye.